Welcome back to another video of Talented Dancers. I just did a video on my flower count. It's in the um, kitchen on the island. So now I'm going to be doing another video and you will need a headband, a glue. My glue is stupid and it's not working so I have to do this without a cover and I have to like squeeze it out. Like, can you believe it? You will also need... Whoa! My bunny, she's in there. I don't know what's up with her. But yeah, also there is... um, You're going to need these, which I don't know what they're called. But. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to lay out the headband. You're going to want to put the glue all around the headband. But not on like, where the ears would be. Let me see if I can... Perfect. You're only going to want, like, a little bit. Because it's going to be, like, a rainbow headband kind of thing. You're going to wrap the um, stuff around the headband, and that's why you need the glue. But I will show you. And like I said, you don't want to add too much. Probably just about this much all of the way around. This is probably a lot harder for me. And you're probably going to... You can try using it with a glue stick. But most likely that is not going to work. If you have a plastic headband, that might work. I do not recommend tape. But yeah, if you have a plastic headband, the glue stick might work. But if not, then... Like me, I don't have a plastic one. So... So, there. Now you have it. You want to kind of make sure that the glue or the, where you don't put the glue is kind of even. It's pretty much even. Now what you want to do is you want to take whatever color in your pattern is coming first. And you want to just put it on there. And then wrap it. If you expect not to get messy though, then you got another thing coming. So, this is really hard. So you're going to want to basically do that. Also, I'm going to leave a link in the description to a YouTube channel that Olivia actually introduced me to. It is called Sarah's Beauty Corner. She does lots of fun hairstyle ideas. She does lots of uh, fun hairstyle ideas. She does nails. She does back to school stuff, which is already back to school. So I actually just started watching her yesterday. And um, she's pretty good. Like, she has a kind of a weird accent, but once you get used to it, you'll get, like, once you get used to it, you will. So, it depends on how long you want each of your colors to be. Basically, one strand is good enough for me. So, that's what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to wrap it around. Now, you're going to want to take the next color, which I'm going to do purple, just because. Even though it's the same color as, um... The headband. That does not matter to me. And if it matters to you, then you can use a different color. Try not to get too much glue on you. Because it might take... The glue might get taken away from the thing. From the headband and on your finger. And I know myself, I hate it when my fingers have stuff on it. But... DIYs and crafts are meant to get messy. Sorry, you can't see. I'm going to try and get it so that you guys can see me doing it. You know, you probably get the point. So now you have the purple. Um, oh, ew, gross, gross, ew. So, um, yeah. Now I'm going to do the green. And if this does not fill up your whole... Headband, you can just keep doing it, or if you have different colors, 
which I do not. But if you do, then great. You can keep doing different colors. Really, this is your option. You can do whatever you want. You don't even... Yeah. Really. It's basically your option. But I just wanted to say that you shouldn't... The reason why I didn't want you to put it on your ears is because this stuff is pointy and it could aggravate your ears or it could just be uncomfortable and that's not the point we want this so god we want this to be comfortable for you and since i can't pause i'll be right back in part two